Walter, I'm trying to make a quick video this morning. Um, I'm making the final cut uh, for the tailstock offset unit uh, for the male dovetail. And I just wanted to show you how this little two flute, three quarter inch Char's uh, dovetail cutter works. So uh, this is the most difficult part because we're making the final cuts. And um, so we're, we're, I can't take off very much. So hopefully this is just going to be a short video because I only have a few more passes to make. So, But I just wanted to show you how this uh, cutter worked. And I'm going to zoom in on it um, a little bit. Well, I think I already am. So I'm zoomed in on it. So you can see the cutter and you can see the work. So here we go. I'm going to, um, I don't know how many more cuts I got to make, but, um, and I'm actually, Excuse the noise. This thing, these things are noisy, there's no doubt about that.
should be getting close. There we go. I just wanted to show you how that's working. I think I'm close to where I need to be. I might have a little bit more to come off there yet. Maybe a couple more passes. I'm not taking too much off because we're, we're at full depth right now. So uh, maybe I'll make a couple more passes here and uh, see where we're at. I think we're pretty close. Well, there's a little cutter. You can see it. I'm spinning. I'll spin it around there. That little cutter works pretty good. I I did the I did the dovetails. Um, it's only three quarter inch diameter, so and it cuts three eighths inch deep. I'm only going a quarter inch deep here, so it seems to work pretty good. I used this on the uh, on the shaper front unit. Um, I think those dovetails were were about a quarter inch deep too, and uh, this seemed to work pretty good. I I couldn't do the females dovetails with the bigger with the larger diameter cutter. So um, also the one I built uh, the Randy Richards cutter was uh, too large to fit in there. So I needed a small cutter like this. I like the inserts. I mean I do. They work pretty good and. Um, so I think it's the way to go. I, I bought a couple of HSS cutters a long time ago and uh, you know you just go seem to go through those. It's not worth getting them sharpened. So um, I, I, send you a, I send you a quick uh, little email this morning. I, uh, if, you're gonna, if you're looking at HSS cutters you know that <laughs> banggood.com has, has got them for about eight nine dollars a US. So um, they're cheap enough uh, they make they make all different. They make 45 degree, 30 degree, 20 degree, 60 degree. They have everything on their on their page. And uh, so, what are you talking? Um, free shipping, basically. I think you got to add about a dollar and a half U.S. Um, so they give you the tracking and all that. It takes about 15 days. So for you in Canada, it's probably a good deal because you know trying to get things shipped from the U.S. is is not a good deal. That's I know that's a bad bad news. Anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, make a quick video this morning. I'll post it and and you can take a look at it. All right. Um, I got this. It looks like I got this male dovetail done. I'll 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 put some dowels on it and, and check the width and see where I'm at. Um, I've got a, I've got a, uh, a uh, uh, well, shoot. See, I, I did a drawing for this, so, so uh, I know where I'm at here, and um, so I've got it all figured out. So I'm going to put the dowels on here and see where we're at, and um, go ahead and move ahead to the female dovetail. I wanted to make the male first, so I could fit, fit it. I want it to fit as close as I can get it without using a jib. So that's my plan anyway. Best laid plans of mice and men. 
Okay, Walter, I'll call up now. Um, talk to you later. Bye.